All right, so last week we had gone through some of the filters you need to set up in KV Core. This week I'm going to go through and show you how to set up a few additional filters. Um, so the next one where we had left off last week with the leads with no alerts, we're going to go in and set, set up filters for clients. So you want to make sure you're in all contacts when you do this. Go to filters, and all you do is sit up here and click client. Let me move this out of the way. And save filters. You want to name this clients and pin it and click save new filter. Next filter we're going to set up is going to be for your prospects. So you want to go click prospects, get off a of client, which is not letting me. Hmm. There we go. Click prospect. And we're going to save filter. Name this prospects. Pin it. Save new filter. Click out of here. We want to get back into all contacts. Um, now we're going to go and create one for your sphere. Again, name it Spear. Pin it to the top, click Save. And you want to do one for your clients. So then you just make sure client is checked. Save filters, name it Clients. Pin it, save new filter, oh, I already created that, okay. So, all right, we'll do the close. So make sure you don't have client on here, click close. Save filters, rename it to close, save new filter, and then we're going to do people that you have under contract. So make sure you remove close, click contract, save filters, click contract, pin it, save new filter. Now, let's say you're working with leads. Let's say you're getting leads from Op City. All right, so if they are not automatically being put into your CRM and you have to manually add them in, when you go in and you are creating a new lead, let's see if I can do this off the sales team. You should be able to go to Quick Actions, click Add Contact. So here you know you only want to put in their first, last name, their email, their phone number. One thing you want to remember to do is permission to contact. Click Yes for Call, Text, and Email. Because if not, they will not re uh, receive any correspondence from your drip campaigns. Then you want to click whether they're a buyer, seller, renter, or a you know, maybe they're both buyer and seller. Maybe they're just renter. The lead status. Now remember, because you're mainly inputting this, you have to put it to a new lead. And the lead source is going to be manual ad. This is where you would go in um, and put in your name as a lead owner. Your name will pop up under your CRM. Now the smart campaign. Here's what I use for op cities. Just like the ones that we use that... um come in from the team there for Facebook and Google um, I just click them on the lead form campaign okay that's all you really need to do I don't worry about putting a lender on here and none of that stuff then I click add contact now after I've added the contact 
I'm going to go in and just pull one up. Let's say I'm just going to pull up Amanda here. The way to get them into the filter, because this is not going to be one of the main filters we have set up, you would have to put a hashtag. So let's say if they're op city, I'm going to put in op city and you click enter or click on what's highlighted. Okay. Now, Move this out of the way. I'm going to remove Op City from Amanda's name, but I'll go in and show you all on mine. When you're creating the filter up here for Op City, you're going to go in, click on filters. But what you need to have is the hashtags. Let's see, where are they? Under contact details, you want to have hashtags. This is where you would type in Opsity again. Click it. That's all you need to do on here. You do not need to be clicking on anything else and make sure that whatever's up here is all cleared out. I'm going to click Save Filters. I'm going to name it Opsity. Um, I know I've got like maybe one in here for Op City, so we'll see what comes up. I'm going to go to Op City. Now, sometimes when you go through here and you add in a new filter, you may have to click refresh. And I'm going to go in and show y'all, log out and show y'all on my CRM how it will show up. Um, because I'm in a team CRM. And now we're going to go back to Op City. Yeah, so you can't really see what's going on here on this end. So, let me click Log Out, get into mine. Go here to all contacts, and you can see here I've got this filter set up for Op City. Here's the one that I have. So, this is why it's important that we use hashtags. And each week I'll kind of go over some different hashtags to use. As you can see on mine, I've got some FSBOs, they're for sale by owners. Um, this is my rent to own through HPOA. I have some investor leads. Um, some nosy neighbor things that I'm trying to start up, um, an open house, because this would be for all my leads are coming in through my open houses that I, I want right there. Yes, they would be on the new leads too, but this way I can go through and if I just want to work that specific group one day and make phone calls. Um, property boost, I'll explain this later. Um, also, anybody who's working set schedule, you hashtag your set schedule leads. I believe they're already hashtag when they come in. But if you make the filter, you would do the same thing. You go in and just name the hashtag and then save the filter and name the filter set schedule. Now, I have the sales team leads up here. This way I know, you know, especially when it comes to closing time, which leads have come in from the team. It makes it easier for me. Um, we'll go through all the different hashtags for this filter next week. I also have my own personal website leads where I've gone in and again that's where you need to know the filters and what's being used. Um, and so right here we see no net matching results because I need to go in and it likes to be refreshed and it's still not working. Okay. contact details. Alright, so here again, sometimes when this happens, it's probably a good thing that we're going through this. Here I have contact source, so I'm not using hashtags right here. 
Sometimes if you just go back through and click apply filters, and then let's see. Watch this. <laughs> it's making a liar out of me. All right, so I'll have to go in and look at that. Um, sometimes KV Core gets little glitches in it. I'm just scrolling through here just so you can kind of see how it is supposed to look and what pops up. This will tell you how many contacts you have within that filter right here. So I have 117. It's showing me the first 50. I have a total of 440 right now in my CRM. Here again, scroll to the bottom, it's telling me I have 38 contacts in here. I have a possible 440 that belong in that filter. These are people that need to pre-qualify. Sometimes you just have to change the and or the or. And boom, there it is. It pops up. So th these are like little glitches that are within KV Core. If this happens to you, don't stress out. Just go in there. Maybe change the and to the or. Um, click apply filters. Up city that shows up. So as you can see, like before, this was popping up and showing up. And the reason why this is not showing up is because there's client checked right there under here. Well, I don't want that. And I probably have not assigned them a hashtag yet. So let me see. Yeah, so that was because I didn't set it up right. So here, you know, I just went in, typed in my hashtag, I had to click out one of those boxes, and here are my pre-qualified clients that have been pre-qualified. Here I made a renter's tab. Um, so there you would just go in under contact details. You can even do one for your buyers and your sellers if you want to do that as well. Um, this is my set schedule. And for whatever reason, my website wants still because a hashtag wants to pop up on there that I don't want. Now, sometimes KV Core has little glitches and it will get through. And I have noticed just it kind of changed some of these settings for whatever reason. So you just have to go through and check to see, you know, where the mis you know the mistake is if you made it or if it's a KV Core glitch. And you're going to notice that my active leads here again have stars. You know, I, I have everything in my CRM categorized either by, you know, sphere, prospect, new lead, or active lead. And then remember, anything with an active lead gets a star on it. 
And that is it for the remainder of the filters videos.